and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. The Bank of Russia agrees to legalize crypto for cross-border payments. And historically opposed to the idea of using crypto as a payment method, the Bank of Russia has reportedly agreed to allow cross-border payments in crypto due to geopolitical changes. That's something when they mentioned, oh man, about a year ago or so, uh, when I mentioned the number one asset for that uh, software and actual cryptocurrency, Ripple and XRP, um, I think a few people got upset. Um, but the only, and you know, basically they were stating that it would not even be possible to do. My perspective was, you know, if it is decentralized, then you can't stop them anyway. But the fact is they were showing that it was more centralized, which is fine, and which is why the banks are going to use it. But again, when I think of cross-border, the number one asset, of course, would be Ripple's XRP. Also, too, speaking of Ripple, the lawsuit summary judgment might see XRP versus Ethereum comparison. As it's already getting into the discussion, attorney Jeremy Hogan had shared a thread over the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit and Judge Netburn's decision over the Henman internal documents. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. And it would be very cool to see how that plays out because we know that Ethereum and Bitcoin had been given that free pass. So it'll be very uh, exciting to see if they, uh, or I should say how they connect that uh, in the arrangement for this year, whether it's a settlement or whether the case is just dropped altogether. Either way, that's something we've been watching for years and just so much delay after delay after delay. But I think hopefully this year we'll see it end and I will get into that discussion as to why here briefly in a moment. The new XRP payment solutions to be presented at the XRPL Developer Summit. And again, it will be hosted by Ripple. So the XRPL devs are to present the new XRP payment solutions at Apex Dev Summit in Las Vegas. And this is where um, I kind of double click, but that's okay. We'll go back into it. The top U.S. attorney says Ripple and SEC could settle before December of 2022. Attorney Jeremy Hogan, you know, thinks that this lawsuit uh, settlement is possible. Because um, also, too, Hogan made the assertion in response to a tweet made by an XRP holder in a tweet the user sought to see. If both parties could settle this month, speculated by attorney Hogan a year ago. Hi, Jeremy. About a year ago, you stated that around September 13th would be the most likely settlement date. Do you still believe it could happen? And responding to the question, attorney Hogan said most likely and the settlement time frame is from now until the end of November because the cards will be on the table. And I believe him entirely uh, as again, as it falls under the timeline we've discussed, I'm going to highlight that really quick. Um, November, because when you get into uh, ISO 20022, and there's something very interesting, and to me, again, I found it very, very bullish. I had shared a, a tweet from Swift, and they shortly deleted it. But having said that, Swift had posted with less than three months until the go live for ISO 20022 for cross-border payments, everyone's focus should now be on testing. Check out the latest ISO 20022 and bytes for info on timelines, roadmaps, training, and more help to ensure you're ready for November. To me, that's very, very exciting. And I believe, well, we can see now for Swift, they're not moving ISO 20022 again. No more delays as they've delayed since 2019 when it was supposed to initially go live. We now know that Swift has uh, basically expecting and stating that they will go live in this November, which is perfect if they settle and end the case with Ripple as well on the same timeline. Because we already know the major ISO 2022 tokens are XRP, XLM, and XDC. So having said that, I think it's going to get very, very exciting for those three assets. And since we're specifically talking on XRP, 
it would be about time. Hopefully this will all end and the price will do a Shane Ellis and we'll be very excited and very happy that we had the patience, the courage, and the strength to hold for all that time. Another interesting thing, Binance to delist the USD coin, the USDC and convert USDP TUSD into Binance USD BUSD. So that's going to be interesting as well to follow because we know now that USDC is also built on Stellar and that was a huge improvement over the one built on Ethereum. Guys, remember this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. And as always, before we go, I want to leave you with a final thought. Never give up. Great things take time. Much love and we will catch you in the next one.